There is another risk of severe weather today across the Lone Star State, including West Texas. Uh, but for us here in South Texas, we have a marginal risk, which is a level one out of five, but that nonetheless is a risk. And here's what we are tracking again. And that's going to be heading into tomorrow morning. So I expect more rain again, likely during your morning commute Wednesday morning. Then finally, Texas has a break. We go Thursday without a risk of severe weather. Here's your main threats looking ahead to possibly a few isolated storms this afternoon and then a line of storms moving through early Wednesday morning around 6 a.m. So this may impact your morning commute. But again, our main concern is going to be those strong wind gusts around 60 miles per hour, which we did see this morning. We saw some wind gusts around 60 miles per hour, but that this second round or really kind of like second and third round is going to come as this cold front moves across the Lone Star State. So we have a chance for some storms developing into the afternoon, but I want you to pay attention right now. Look at this, uh, the the cluster of storms moving through early tomorrow morning. This is now paused at 7 a.m. Wednesday. That's going to be another go time where you may be dealing with power outages. You may be dealing with some localized flooding, so you're going to have to check back in with us here at first edition tomorrow before you head out the door because I do expect some some weather that will be impacting your commute. Then dry air comes into play as we look ahead to Thursday, but for now, here's a look at those max wind speeds today. 59 miles per hour in Corpus Christi, 54 in Robstown, Orange Grove showing 44, but the National Weather Service also reporting a 64 mile per hour wind gust in Orange Grove. Here's what brought those strong winds into the region. You can see these lines right here are indicating areas of similar pressure. It's dropping where this circle is, and that is what we know as a wake low, which is a drop in pressure behind a weakening thunderstorm storm complex, which you can see right here, and that is, was highlighted by these features in Corpus Christi. Our pressure dropped from 110 millibars to 5 millibars, which doesn't sound like a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, that helped produce 60 mile per hour wind gust in Corpus Christi at 259. Now we are still dealing with some wind, uh, especially through Mathis. I want to point out there's a little bit of convergence going on through Mathis. We're not seeing rain developing along that convergence, but that is a feature just to keep an eye on through the morning. You can kind of see that broad circulation. That's another area of low pressure. It is potentially creating some stronger wind gusts, at least higher in the atmosphere through portions of Webb County. Uh, but for now, we're mostly just getting a few more rain showers and maybe Maybe some peaks of 20, 30 mile per hour gust through portions of Jim Wells County and into Clayburg County. And so you can see now when I turn on your precipitation on radar, this is what we are dealing with. It's just some light rainfall, but the wind still may be picking up at times. On our legs cam this morning, you can see the cloudy conditions, temperatures in the 80s again this afternoon, but with the cloud coverage, we should stay in the 80s, not expecting 90s. Uh, rain is tapering off, so by 9 a.m. we'll be dry. We'll get a break in the rain, but 130s when those pop up storms will be possible. Temperatures there in the mid to upper 80s, and then we see another break in the evening. A slim chance of rain around midnight, but 6 a.m. again is that next go time. 6 a.m. through about 9 a.m. 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. A look at your seven day forecast as that cold front moves through. We're technically not turning cool too much cooler, but we will be drier. So we have to bring the sunshine back out. Our temperatures will be going up, but we won't be dealing with that heat index and that humidity, but it's still going to see our temperatures back in the 90s as we look ahead to Memorial Day weekend. Barbie, John Thomas.